shenanigans uh, in the last uh, couple days or actually last night at close or last hour yesterday with the fed minutes as you can see obviously we did witness quite a bit of fluctuation here as you can see look as you can see the big fluctuation here and then the way it closed uh, with that bearish candle, I think a lot of people expected to see a continuation to the downside uh, this morning. And so when we woke up this morning, as you can see, we saw a significant up gap. America. 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 Fuck yeah. And what was important about that up gap is if that up gap is sustained, we want to give benefit of the doubt to the buyers as S&P 500 making new all time highs today. High of the day today is 572.88 record highs, historical highs. We ought to celebrate huh? uh, this uh this monumental achievement huh you see that you see that 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 lower wig on the first hour bears brought it down not able to fill the entirety of that up gap perfect um and we pretty much been you know what i mean moving sideways ever since um you know holding up and so uh, should there be any kind of decline going into tomorrow uh you've seen my rising pivots here there's a two pivots and uh, that's the level coinciding with that micro term and the gap area so i think 566 568 or so they're all going to provide that micro term to short term support a lot of times what happens is that resistance that's why it's a pivot right what uh was once a resistance uh is going to turn into a potential level of support and that's what the rising pivot is all about look at that upper wick here as we broke above it and a lot of times what could potentially happen is a market goes up clears it and uh, it retests uh, some of these levels uh, and then continue to cultivate the higher lows and higher highs and resume uh, with the uptrend. It's interesting to note that yesterday, I want to show you something real quick. You can see this is how it looked yesterday at close. Look at this right here. You see that? Um, you see that candle right there? That's how it looked yesterday at close. Let's go down and see that oscillator. Look at that oscillator. You can see as I zoom in here, you can see how it it actually on the fifth hour, we initially this thing actually initially crossed up, but because of the sixth hour downturn, that bearish candle, that red candle, we actually whips up back down. But what's important is that oscillator pivot right again it's the same concept uh same application as to this pivot right it's kind of like okay so prior resistance on that oscillator potential new support right here for this support to hold what bulls needed to do is not to allow the sellers continue to have their you know have that continuation rather have that continuation move to the downside because we all know one day move does not create a trend we've seen that here look at this long bearish candle on this last hour on this day same thing one day or one our bearishness does not create a trend it needs a follow-through right that's here and same thing here 
One last hour bearish candle does not create a downtrend. Needs to follow this, especially the fact that that oscillator just holding right on this oscillator pivot. Potential possible new support. And for this to happen, bulls need to gap it up or bulls need to find that bullish move right away this morning. Otherwise, uh, we could potentially, right? lose this pivot and come back down to the bottom of its band and losing some of these uh, moving averages here but when we gapped up you see how quickly that oscillator just you see that that's the first hour first hour right here see that first hour we cross right back up that again that's the first hour and you see that we held gap up gap yeah and there's a bearishness on the intra hour but long lower wick represents it came down in the morning but it got right back up closing the first hour on a positive note uh once we see that oscillator crossing up like this in the middle of the band a lot of times what that um represents is that um you know this uptrend is seeing that next leg higher perfect so um higher lows are getting cultivated we're staying above the micro or the short term micro term is that you know the aqua squiggly squiggly line and the short term is the uh the green moving average there's a micro term here there's a short term there so as long as i think uh, this up gap from this mor morning remains uh, uh protected and sustained and we're above some of these moving average. And we also got these pivots right here, rising pivot. I think we stay above those and bulls were able to hold above some of these levels that I've given you in this presentation, I think. Uh, we wanna continue to assume, of course, nobody knows exactly how the market is gonna play out, but we wanna continue to assume that the trend is gonna continue to the upside.